Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus and see how this specific phone holds up in 2023. Now one thing I will definitely tell you is, is that this specific phone I think is still completely worth it. You know, I think it's still one of the better phones you could probably buy. Now it did come out a few years ago, so it's definitely not like the best phone of all time right now, but I do think Samsung back in 2021 did a great job with this phone, although they did take away some things that the previous phones kind of had. We'll kind of talk about it throughout this video, but if you want to pick up this phone, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now on the outside of this specific phone on the front we had a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED display and it was a pretty decent panel you know it was at 120 hertz which is beautiful however coming from the previous generation of Samsung phones those phones actually had a 1440p panel so that was one thing that was very interesting I'm not really too sure why Samsung ended up doing that they ended up decreasing you know the resolution of that display but it's not a big deal we kind of gotten used to it and since then, I think pretty much every Samsung phone is going to have a 1080p panel for their plus or their, you know, lower tier phones. But then for their ultras, they're probably going to, you know, save the 1440p panels for those and probably for the, you know, flips and the folds and all those other devices. It's a whole bunch display too, so it looks pretty good. Fingerprint sensor in the display, which is really nice. On the bottom of this phone, we had our USB-C port. So this was another thing. It has Samsung DeX, which is nice. Unfortunately, this specific phone did not have a micro SD card slot. Right now, we're kind of used to it, but at that moment, a lot of Samsung phones had this type of capability, and they ended up removing it, which was honestly kind of sad. So again, there's really not much we can do about it at this point. But then, you know, I just feel like they should have just probably went ahead and just, you know, given us the micro SD card slot still on this device. But it's totally okay. I guess it's not that big of a deal anymore. Now on the back, we have we do have this frosted glass back, which is actually really nice. So these types of glass bags are super, super nice. And funny enough, for the standard S21, they removed the glass bag and put a plastic bag on their phone. But with this one, they did give us a glass bag. So I'm really happy about that. You still have wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which is really nice. You had this triple camera setup as well, which arguably looked better than the previous generation. So at this moment, I would say this was the best looking Samsung phone probably from all, all time, but especially coming from their previous generation, their S20 and S20 Plus, even the S20 Ultra, they just didn't look that great. That was one of the main issues I had with their previous generation. I like the capability behind it. I love the display. I love the 120 hertz. I love the micro SD card slot. But then with that build, quality the way it looked it just didn't look that great at least with the s21 series these phones do look they did look a little bit better so you kind of have to give them a little bit of a credit there so you still have ip certification on this phone nothing's really changing there and overall it's still a very good looking phone it's still a very good performing phone and like i said there really isn't too much to complain about here so on the outside it still gets a thumbs up from you for sure now in the camera department this phone like i said before triple camera setup on the back so you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens 64 megapixel telephoto lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and then a 10 megapixel front facing camera. Now, luckily for us, we can do 4K at 60 on the front and the back, which is really good, but you can also do 8K videos on the back of this specific phone. So that is another massive thing. The fact that this phone has 4K at 60 on the front and the back is awesome, but I think the biggest thing this phone kind of has going for it, in my opinion, just like every other Samsung phone, are the amount of features behind this specific device. In my opinion, Samsung cameras have some of the best features probably of any Samsung phone or any phone in general. They have a lot of camera features, which is something I love. You can just unlock this phone and, you know, pretty much get way more features built in than pretty much any other camera for the most part. So that was something that I like and from any camera inside of a phone, not just any camera in general. So that was something that I really do like about this specific device. Again, it's not perfect, you know, in applications like Snapchat and TikTok and Instagram that I mention all the time. You know, those cameras aren't really going to be that optimized for that specific, you know, application. But I do think for the most part, if you're going through and you're using a specific device, you're going to have a very good camera experience. Experience, whether you're making videos or photos the microphone quality may be a little iffy now but i still think this is a very very good camera for sure and it's probably one of its biggest assets for sure so in terms of that that kind of covers it up there now in terms of software and longevity this phone is still supported with software so it's not really going anywhere anytime soon which is super nice but it looks like for the next couple of years it's going to have a very interesting approach so it's definitely getting one ui6 
It may end up getting One UI 7 as well, but if not, I mean this phone's going to be lasting all the way throughout this year and probably all throughout next year as well. So all of 2023 and all of 2024, it's going to be lasting for quite a bit of time. And even then it may still get some, you know, security updates here and there and whatnot. So this phone is not going anywhere. I think you're going to be still in a really, really good spot in a really good situation with this device as well. So I would probably just recommend like if you're in that type of situation and just go and buy this phone, it's going to be lasting for a long time anyway. If you plan on keeping a phone for four or five years, this may not be the one for you. Like you may want to go and switch over to maybe the latest Samsung. You may just want to wait for the Samsung Galaxy S23 now since that's about to come out. But regardless, this is still a very, very good performing phone in terms of, you know, the software department. One thing I do want to note though is sometimes if you are, if you are actually going through and if you are wanting the same day updates, meaning that if you want to update your phone the same day an update comes out, this is probably the biggest downside of getting a Samsung Galaxy. Their updates can be all over the place. Their phones don't get updates the same day. And sometimes they may say an update comes out on, you know, September 6th, but it doesn't come out until like November on your device. It happens all of the time. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. There's not really too much we can do about it at this point. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now in the performance segment, this phone internally actually has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now personally for me, I think this phone's performance is still very good, especially when you consider that this thing has that 120Hz display. Now 120Hz, it doesn't make the phone faster, it just makes it feel substantially faster and that is actually the one thing that I actually do like about it. So with this type of device, you are getting a very, very capable phone. This thing can realistically do everything you throw at it. So for one, you are going to be getting a phone that's still, you know, very, very fast. There's really not too much to complain about it in that standpoint. It's going to be lasting you a very long amount of time from the performance segment. If you're doing basic applications or whatnot, it's going to be fine. If you're even stepping it up a notch and you're doing heavy intensive gaming, I've done so much gaming with these types of phones. You know, the it's Qualcomm 888 on both, not only this device, but there's so many other devices that have this chipset. And I've had a pretty good experience with that, you know, and not just my experience. So many people have had great experience with this chipset. Some have actually had better experience with this one than the HN1, which some people said thermal throttled or, you know, was kind of all over the place. So I feel like this device still has a very good experience in terms of the performance segment. So if you want a good performing phone, in my opinion, you can't really go wrong with this specific device. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. Now in the battery life department, this device has that 4,800 milliampere battery inside of it, which personally I think is awesome. It's a very big size battery. I think it was almost as big as the S21 Ultra at that time. And as I mentioned before, I mean, you're going to be getting a very good performing battery life from this specific device. So that, you know, specific standpoint, it gets a thumbs up for me as well. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll definitely tell you is, I think the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is a very good phone for sure. I think it's easily one of the better phones you can definitely buy this year. Is it perfect? No, you know, there's definitely going to be issues with getting a device like this, but I do think Samsung did a pretty good overall job with this phone. And, you know, there's really not too many things to complain about. If you're planning on getting a phone like the Galaxy, you know, S20 Plus or an S10 Plus or anything like that, you may be better off if you just go for an S21 Plus. If you have all the money, go for the more expensive ones, but this is a very, very good phone. And it, it just fits, I think it just like checks a lot of the boxes. Still feels very premium, still has software updates for a few more years, great camera, great build quality. You can't really go wrong with it. And it's gone down in price in the used market. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.